What is your largest asset? Many people would respond, their home. Actually, your ability to earn an income could be your greatest asset. Let's assume you're one of the few middle-class Americans left. You are 35 years old and you live in a nice $250,000 home with a spouse and two kids. Your annual income is $75,000, so if you work for another 30 years, your earning potential is $2,250,000, and that's without any income increases. Do you insure your $250,000 home from a catastrophic loss? You probably do. Do you insure your $2,250,000 income from a catastrophic loss? Probably not. Your future has three scenarios. One, you live healthy and incident free, and I hope that's the case. Two, you have an unfortunate death. Or three, you have a disability. You can insure your death with life insurance. To insure your income from a disability, you use disability insurance. Individual disability premium rates and availability are driven primarily by your occupation. Other factors include your location, whether or not you're self-employed, whether you participate in hazardous activities, health issues, and income. Individual disability insurance is one of the least sold insurance products, yet it insures your largest asset. The reason is individual disability is expensive compared to group disability. However, the individual disability is generally far superior in coverage, primarily due to its definition of a disability. Also, if you compare the long-term disability premiums to your $250,000 homeowner's policy, you might be surprised. If you would like additional information regarding disability insurance, please forward us a completed quote form at your earliest convenience and take care.